Nothing is official until Jackie Chan confirms it. And there you go. We'll have another rush hour after a whole 15 years. The popular classical action comedy drama will hit the screens very soon as the movie is already in development. So stay with me until the end and find out everything about Rush Hour 4. Now let's kick off with a short recap. Yes, it's been 15 years since the last theatrical release of Rush Hours and it was about time to see another part. Things are finally looking up for the long-delayed fourth movie of this popular franchise. The fourth installment looked close to happening when Chris Tucker said that he's still talking about this idea with Jackie Chan back in 2019. Anyway, we know what happened later. You'd ask, why do we need another part if the previous movie received such negative reviews? Well, the answer is simple. These two are the most likable actors ever. But let's spend a moment talking about the previous movie. Let that out. Oh, let me get her. Her in the black. Her in the pink. Hey, baby. Hurry up. Hey, what's wrong with you? You don't jump in front of a black man in a buffet line. We were so excited when the third movie was released, the lovable duo back to ogle some babes and kick some ass. Yes, they did get bad critics, but taking in mind its materials, it couldn't have been much better. This movie was just a case of returning once more with a bucket before the well runs dry. Chan is again Lee, and Tucker is again Carter, the duo of the motormouth LAPD cop who's always in trouble and the ace Hong Kong cop called in to partner with him. This is kind of those ones a movies, as Roger Ebert wants to call them, where you have ones a cop from China and ones a LA and neither one's a guy you want to mess with. The most sci-fi here, I would say, is how Carter's always being assigned to super important cases, such as an investigation at the Folies Berger in Paris. This time, they had even a bigger shot. Ambassador Han, one of Lee's old pals, has been shot in an assassination attempt in LA by the Triad Gang. Lee runs after the shooter, as he is the ambassador's bodyguard, so it follows one of those impossible Jackie Chan chase scenes. Once we used to be amazed by his moves, and now we're just surprised that he's still able to do this at his age. You could even imagine what could happen in the fourth movie. Lee partners with his old buddy Carter, and they rush to the hospital to question Sue Young, the ambassador's beautiful daughter. It turns out that Sue Young had the envelope, something that contains the key evidence for her father's testimony before the world court. To mess up the story just a little bit, the envelope was stolen from Sue Young at her karate academy. Anyway, Mr. Tucker and Mr. Chan don't get to wiggle off the hook entirely. They did this movie, and we have to understand them, people have to make a living. That puts the movie stars in the same position and their limited opportunities for an eccentrically talented black comic actor and for an aging Hong Kong martial arts giant. Come upstairs, cop. I'll give you what you want. Today, my boy becomes a man. <laughs> At the risk of eternal damnation on the internet, I admit to laughing at, even feeling momentarily touched by Rush Hour 3, said Desson Thompson of the Washington Post. While his colleague from the Washington Times, Christian Toto, hit that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really, Christian Toto from the Washington Times thinks that Rush Hour 3 was supposed to put the franchise down for good. Well, he was wrong. Either way, no matter what we say or what the review's approval rating is, there's only one truth. This movie was a huge financial success against a $140 million budget. Rush Hour 3 grossed $258 million worldwide. Okay, enough about the previous movie, and let's talk about what's coming next. As mentioned before, Chris Tucker already announced this movie back in 2019. We're working on a few things on the script right now, so we're trying to get into production. But we're working on it and trying to get going. Jackie Chan wants to do it, I want to do it, the studio wants to do it, so we're trying to get it together, said the actor. But that wasn't the first time. Chan revealed he had agreed on a script back in October 2017, and Tucker confirmed that he's also on board in February 2018. That was supposed to lead us to a movie in 2018, but that has never happened. Soon after that, Tucker posted an Instagram photo of him and Chan showing four, which only means one thing. But Chan's management company said that the star hadn't agreed to star in Rush Hour 4. So after years of going back and forth, Jackie Chan confirmed that the movie is happening and he did that during the Red Sea International Film Festival in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. We're talking about Rush Hour 4 right now, said the actor, but didn't give a clear answer if that is a discussion with Ratner or another director. Rush Hour 4 could be the final installment in the series and maybe the last action movie for Chan as he promised to the audience that he'd like to make more love stories and fewer action movies in his career. 
The release date is not yet known because the movie is in pre-production at the moment, but it's likely that we'll get it at the beginning of 2024 if the production of the movie begins in 2023. As for the cast, Chan is connected to the movie, according to IMDb, and Tucker is also rumored to reprise his role as Agent Carter. There is, however, one more actor that could return for Rush Hour 4, Zima, who plays Ambassador Solon Han. After all, he appeared in two movies so far, in the first one and in the third one. I don't drive his kind. My kind? Americans make me sick. They're the most violent people on earth. You want violent, smelly Frenchman? Well, you got it! You wanna kill me? Then go ahead! Among the mainstay characters, there's also Solon Han's daughter, Su Young Han, but she smashed the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, also Solon Han's daughter, Su Young Han, was portrayed by different actresses. Zhang Jing Chu in the third and Julia Su in the first movie. It's expected that Arthur Sarkisian is also coming back as a producer. It's unclear if Ross Lamana would be the scriptwriter, and now let's talk about the plot. You can't create any more action because what? Punching, kicking, those kinds of things? Boring. So this is why I slowly use comedy with action and all the props around me, and after I cannot use any more, then I do dangerous stunts, high jumps. Believe it or not, this year is my 60th year in the film industry, said Chan for Variety. And it's expected that the fourth movie will keep the same style. Chan added that he thought the first movie was going to flop, but he got a call from Brett Ratner and Chris Tucker who told him that it made $70 million in the first weekend, and the rest is history. I don't think the fourth installment would take a slightly different direction. It's been 25 years since the first movie was released and IMDb summarizes the story like this. A loyal and dedicated Hong Kong inspector teams up with a reckless and loudmouthed LAPD detective to rescue the Chinese consul's kidnapped daughter while trying to arrest a dangerous crime lord along the way. Fans believe the story will keep going the same way. If you ask me, this movie will definitely be thrown down, taking in mind that Jackie Chan is 68 years old. Chris Tucker is not in his prime, but nobody expects Agent Carter will learn martial arts. We just expect him to be as loud and as funny as he could be. Friendship will be in the spotlight again, and that's the main message these movies are sending. Since we don't have official info about the plot, we can only talk about the potential theories. Of course, until the fourth movie hits the theaters, we have enough material to tie up with. And what do you think? What will be the main focus of the story? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.